Derek Becker, a New Zealand naturopath, thanks for coming back. Obesity, it's a big, big obese problem, isn't it? Nearly $150 billion a year it costs the US uh, for obesity. So there's this very interesting guy, Professor Patel, behavioral um, unit, I think he works in a particular medical unit, but he's got a, a, a big interest in behaviors of people you know, leading to, you know, poor health and good health and looking at different novel ways to help companies improve the fitness and health of employees. With up to 85% of companies in the States already now offering like incentives to people like, you know, wearable devices for tracking walking and gym memberships and different incentives because we know that healthy people, uh, people who eat well and sleep well are going to be productive. They're going to do really good for the company. But now with obesity being at such a, a big problem, they're always looking for ways. So, but what about the lottery? What about if we give people the ability to partake in a lottery? So what Professor Patel found out that the, the lottery does work, but there's a bit of a catch to it. So if you put a, give a person the ability to like win a $5 lottery, I think they've got like a one in five chance like every day or two days to win that lottery. He worked out that that's not quite as effective. But what about, say, a one in 500 chance of winning, or one in 400 chance of winning, say, $500? You know? People soon learn also that the chances are very slim. When the pot gets fat, you know, there's a lot less chance to win that pot. So what Patel found out was if you did a randomized kind of thing where people didn't know what kind of lottery they were going to partake in, he found a big difference, okay? If you put a person, gave them normal incentives, he found, I think, there was a 26% chance that 26% of those people were doing achieving around 7,000 steps a day, which was like his target. But he found with this randomized lottery, they jumped up to 38%. So 12% more of people they were interested because they didn't know if they were going to win a prize or not. So it's real sad that so many people out there need incentives and like bribes and they need buddies and people to push them into an exercise program when... When you feel fit and healthy, you know, you don't want to feel any way else. Uh, you know, it, I feel so sad. There are so many people trapped in big bodies there that just don't really feel they've got the power to get out there and make a big, you know, change in their life. But, yep, I've helped and assisted a lot of obese people, you know, come down to a normal size. And unfortunately for many of those people, they resorted back to their old ways and, and piled the weight back on. But many of them didn't. I've also tracked several of the clients I've worked with for years who were very big people. You know, we're talking 300 pounds. And over time, they became like a normal size and they never got big again. So a lot of it, in my opinion, depends a lot on the upbringing of the person, you know, how they were raised, what kind of foods they were fed and their lifestyle when they were young. Also, what kind of friends and associates they had along the way. Because certainly a um, truthful statement in that birds of a feather flock together like if you have friends or family they tend to eat very healthy all the time home-cooked meals that partake in exercise or regular activity you're more prone to do that yourself as opposed to coming from a family where people sit around all day watching sports and eat pizzas and you know drink dr pepper and that or whatever um, so yeah it can make a big difference so there you have it lottery can um, you know uh, have an ability to incentivize people to get them out there and exercise think about it it's worth it and click on the link below if you want my free candida report the 17 page report thanks for tuning in